Look at the keys of your car. If you don't have a car, then borrow the keys from your mom or dad's car, but please don't go on a joyride. Open Lectures isn't responsible for any accidents from joyrides influenced by this checkpoint. Anyways, the key that you're holding is an example of a metal. Metals are characterized by four important characteristics. The first is luster. Luster is a measure of how shiny an element is. Metals are very lustrous. The second is conductivity. This means that metals can easily contain and transport electricity. This is why the wires that connect your computer to a power source contain a metal like copper, so that electricity can easily transfer from the outlet to your battery. The third is malleability, which is the ability of a metal to be shaped. If this were impossible, the aluminum foil in your kitchen wouldn't be so thin. The last metallic property is ductility or the ability of metals to be drawn into thin wires. This is also important as wires are everywhere and an integral part of our lives. Now let's see what elements on the periodic table most exhibit these four properties. The general form of all atomic trends is that they either increase or decrease going across a row or going down a column. When you go down a column, the elements increase in metallic properties. Going down a column also correlates to elements increasing in atomic mass. So the heavier the metal, the more metallic properties that the element possesses. Going across a row, metallic property decreases. This is a bit more intuitive because we know that all the metals are on the left side of the periodic table and all the non-metals are on the right. Now, does this mean that non-metals cannot conduct electricity at all or are not malleable? No. They are to a certain degree, but not to the extent that metals can. Atomic properties kind of suck because you have to memorize them. There's really no way around that. However, there is a trick that you can use to make this a bit easier. There are only two kinds of trends as it comes to atomic properties. Trend 1 is increasing down while decreasing across and trend 2 is decreasing down while increasing across. Metal property follows trend 1. 